have got a fun video for you and I am going to show you three different recipes that are perfect for movie night or any night in. I spent this weekend in and I made a few different recipes that I absolutely love when I'm just chilling at home, need something cozy, but also really easy. So these are snack type recipes, but we also have a sweet treat. And one of them I think is also perfect for a party. So there's a lot of versatility in this video and I think you're really gonna like the recipes. We are making a vegan spinach artichoke dip. I'm showing you my favorite way to make vegan popcorn, which is this coconut oil and nutritional yeast. And then I'm also showing you a protein peanut butter cookie that is so good. It has chocolate chips too, which are optional, but highly recommended and it tastes awesome. So let's just go ahead and dive into the video. So first up, we are making my favorite vegan popcorn, and we're gonna start by adding nutritional yeast, sea salt, smoked paprika, some cracked pepper, as well as some coconut oil into a large bowl. And then I use an air popper to pop my popcorn. I will put this one in the description box below, but you can also do this in a pan with a little bit of oil. So basically we're just gonna let the popcorn do its thing in the little air popper, and as it comes out, it will nicely heat up the oil, and then we can just stir it all together. So I like to use my hands so that I can really get the ingredients mixed together. And I recommend going with a bigger bowl than I used here because it was kind of going all over the place. This is honestly the best popcorn. It's so cheesy, super flavorful, and perfect for movie night. We absolutely love it and we make it all the time. The next thing we're making is my vegan spinach artichoke dip. And this starts with a base of raw cashews that have been soaked for about two hours. And then on top of that, I add some almond milk and some nutritional yeast as well as a little bit of lemon juice, some tapioca starch, a little garlic powder, and some sea salt. And then we're just gonna blend this up until it's totally smooth. It isn't gonna be super thick, so don't worry about that because it will thicken as we cook it. Then we are just going to chop up a can of artichokes. I like to use the ones that are in water. And then we will add this to a bowl with some thawed frozen spinach and pour over our sauce. And then we'll just mix it all together. And while this is getting mixed up, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And then we'll just transfer this mixture into an oven safe dish. I like this one because it's pretty for presentation, but you can use any dish you want. And then just kind of smooth out the topping so that it's even and looks nice. And then we're just gonna pop this in the oven for about 30 minutes at 375 degrees until the filling has set. And then you can enjoy it immediately. It will be piping hot, but it is so good. I like to serve this with crackers and you guys are gonna love it. And then our final recipe are these peanut butter protein cookies. And the base of course is peanut butter. And then we're using coconut sugar to sweeten them. And then you're just gonna mix this all together with an electric mixer until it comes together and is kind of smooth and fluffy. And then we'll add in a scoop of vanilla protein powder as well as some sea salt and some baking soda and mix it again until it comes together. It will depend on the protein powder that you're using, but the mixture might be a little bit dry. So I added in a flax egg. If it isn't dry, then you probably don't need this one. And then you can just mix it again until it's all combined and then fold in your chocolate chips. And then you're just gonna form these into golf ball sized little cookie dough balls. Put them on a parchment lined baking sheet. And then I like to press them down and flatten them with a fork. And this will just make them like the perfect shape and size. And then we're gonna bake these babies at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. And when you pull them out of the oven, you're gonna wanna let them cool completely. They will be a little bit crumbly, so as they cool, they'll harden up a little bit and they have a really nice texture and amazing flavor and obviously super delicious. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you give these recipes a try. If you enjoyed it and you liked this sort of theme type video, give it a thumbs up and let me know if there are any other specific recipe ideas or video concepts that you would like me to create. I'm always looking for your guys' suggestions. And if you do end up making one of these recipes, please, Come back to this post, first of all, and let me know what you think. I also would love to see a photo, so if you wanna share something on social, you can just tag at Simply Quinoa or use the hashtag Simply Quinoa. That helps me easily find your photo and give you a little bit of love in return. And then last but not least, if you haven't subscribed, you're new around here, I would love for you to join our community here on YouTube. You can do so by clicking the red button that is right below this video. There's also a bell next to that button. That will turn on your notifications and make sure that you never miss another video in the future. I share videos twice a week, every Tuesday and Friday, so there's tons more content coming your way and I'm really excited to share them with you. 
So I hope you have a really great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.